Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Livre Canada Books Export Webinar, Exporting to Indonesia. The presentation takes about an hour, and we'll have plenty of time at the end of, for questions. We'll be taking questions via the Q&A function in WebEx found at the right-hand part of your screen. Feel free to submit questions as you think of them throughout the webinar, and I'll collect them for the Q&A session at the end. I'm very pleased to present your host, Thomas Nung Etasana. Initially a parents magazine editor, Nung started venturing into book publishing in 1981 by joining Compassgram Media, the largest media group in Indonesia. After working as a book editor for several years, he ended up as chief editor for Gram Media Pustaka Utama, one of the leading book publishing companies in Indonesia. In 2012, he was invited by ICAPI, the Indonesian Publishers Association, to establish Borobudur Literary Agency representing Indonesian book publishers and authors. Currently, he's the International Rights Director of Borobudur and the Coordinator of Rights Sales for the National Committee for Indonesia as guest of honor for the Frankfurt Book Fair. Now, I'd like to welcome Nung and thank you for joining us. I'll now turn over the controls to you, Nung, so that we can get started. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear Canadian book publishers. My warmest greetings from Indonesia, a tropical country on the equator and a large archipelago, most likely as large as the Canadian Arctic archipelago. I hope that Indonesia will echo louder and get more international recognition in terms of its book publishing industry due to its role as the guest of honor on the forthcoming Frankfurt Book Fair. And as you see in my presentation, 17,000 islands of imagination is the Indonesian motto for the, e for the event. And I will add that thousands of opportunities to do business in Indonesia and help to enrich Indonesian book industry are open. Well, Indonesia is the 16th largest area in the world, where Canada is the second largest just after Russia. On the other hand, Canada ranks the 36th largest population in the world, where Indonesia is the fourth largest just after the, uh, after the United States. Imagine 255 million people with a big market. Wait a minute, we will find out later whether it is also true for book market or not. By the way, you see that more than half of the population live in Java, and more than 10 million people live in Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. Indonesia has thousands of islands, over 13 or 17,000, depending on high or low tide parameter. However, book distribution channels are mostly concentrated in major cities and towns. Most bookstores and book retailers are located in Java, with a big number in Jakarta. Sumatra comes second, followed by Sulawesi or Celebes and Kalimantan or Borneo. Only a very few channels cater for Nusa Tenggara on the Lesser Sunda Islands, Maluku on the Molucas and Papua. Consequently, it is quite costly to ship books from Java to Kalimantan, Sulawesi, Nusa Tenggara, Maluku and Papua, unlike from Java to Sumatra. It is also quite common that bookshops outside Java and Sumatra mark up book cover prices about 5% or even a little bit more. With more than 700 of local languages or dialects, Indonesia is fortunate to have Indonesian, also known as Bahasa Indonesia, as the only official language, making Indonesian able to communicate across different native dialect speakers from Sabang, 
in the northwestern part of Sumatra to Merauke in the eastern part of Papua. It is only natural that most books in Indonesia are written in Indonesian. It is also convenient since Indonesian writing system adopts the Latin alphabet. English is considered as the first foreign language, be one of the major subjects at schools besides Indonesian and mathematics, and formally started to be introduced at the fourth grade of elementary school or the first grade of junior high school. In major cities and towns, however, even some preschools start teaching simple English to their three-year-old students. Some high schools in major cities and towns have friends as their extracurricular minor subjects along with German. Several universities also have friends departments in their faculties of letters. But you can only find a very few French titles in the bookstores, especially bilingual books on learning friends only. Recently, the majority of Indonesian people aged between 15 and 64, amounting to 6.52% of the population. It means that the majority of Indonesian people are in active and productive age, ages, making Indonesia enjoy the so-called demographic bonus or demographic window of opportunity and making Indonesia a more potential marketplace. Though Indonesia is considered as one of the most democratic countries in the world, an Indonesian citizen is supposed to adhere, adhere to one of the six religious religions recognized by the Indonesian government. An Indonesian citizen has to state his or her religion in his citizen ID. Thanks to the official national motto of Indonesia, Binika Tunggal Ika, or United, United in, diverse, in Diversity that makes Indonesia the land that unites many opposites. While Indonesia is home to the biggest Muslim community worldwide, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, as well as believers of natural religions live side by side. Accordingly, it is also natural that books on religion and spirituality especially related to Islam, are very popular in Indonesia, second in rank in sales, just after children's books. A consequence that arises is that book publishers have to be careful about religious issues. Though fortunately there is no government censorship for books, publishers usually carry out their own censorship. More and more Indonesian people are formally educated. 54 million students are now in their primary and secondary education, while 5 million students are attending universities. It is obvious that the literacy rate is also high, reaching 93% of the population, of which 95% male and 91% female. Since 2003, the Indonesian government has spent 20% of its national budget on education, which is the biggest percentage. The government has also invested in digital textbooks for primary and secondary education. Libraries in Indonesia consist of one national library, and I will make a kind of revision due to the information from the Indonesian public, Indonesian National Library, that instead of 2,600 public libraries, it is it should be to it should be uh, 26,000 public and special libraries.
and in in with this connection then the total amount of the indonesian liabilities uh is around 303000 i think uh i think this is this number is okay uh, especially in that community liabilities keep growing fine in number it is obvious that Indonesian libraries still need a considerable amount of books. Now about Indonesian illiteracy. The International Statistical Institute regards Indonesia as a developing country. It is true due to the fact that Indonesia has a growing educated middle class and a very digital minded young generation. Nowadays internet is a must with about eight three point seven million users equal to 33% of the population via various devices like PCs, cellular phones, laptops, tablets, and notebooks, as well as through a huge number of internet kiosks. The latest survey by the Indonesian Ministry of Communication and Information shows that 58% of people aged between 12 and 34 spend about seven hours online daily. There were already around 46 million smartphones in 2014. The use of social media is also massive. There are around 62 million of Facebook users, second largest after the United States, about 30 million of Twitter users, and more than 5 million bloggers. Social media are also considered as effective means to promote books. Publishers, authors, and bookstores generally use Twitter accounts to communicate and promote their new books to their followers, such as Gramedia Pustaka Utama Publishers at Gramedia, which has more than 294,000 followers, and up a prolific woman author, Dewi Lestari, at the Lestari, who has more than 1,170,000 followers. Recently, Instagram is getting more and more popular with thousands of users. With a GDP of about 915 billion US dollars in 2015, Indonesia is the 16th largest economy in the world and the largest in Southeast Asia. The real GDP growth is also considered, considered stable between 5 and 6 percent. On the production side, the highest growth 10.0 and 2 percent is achieved by information and communication business. So it also reflects the fast growing number of internet users and the increasing ownership of smartphones. Having a GDP per capita of 3,630 US dollars, Indonesia is classified as a developing country. It is promising indeed to witness the rising of the Indonesian middle class and affluent consumers with an increase of 8 million to 9 million each year and will be about 90 million in 2015.
general book sales, excluding sold books, is only about 300 million US dollars, or 0 0.0 and 33 percent of the GDP, which is not sufficient enough, considering the rising of the Indonesian middle class and affluent consumers. In Indonesia, a bookstore generally sells books and stationery and other non-books items. Unfortunately, the number of brick and mortar bookstores are declining, amounting to about 700 active outlets only, plus several hundreds of small book kiosks. In the past years, there were about 2,000 active outlets. Fortunately, the situation is being balanced by the rapid growth of online retailers. The big player in the book distribution channel is Tokobuku Gramedia 10 Bookstore with its nationwide outlets from Sumatra to Papua, where Toko means store and Buku means book. At this moment, Gramedia 10 Bookstore own 110 outlets, and by the end of this year, they will open seven new stores. They also have three distribution centers located in Jakarta, in Surabaya, in Java, and Pekanbaru in Sumatra. The other 10 bookstores, as you see, are Toko Gunung Agung, Tugamas, Tisera, and Paperclip, mostly located in Java. Intermedia, Gracia, and Promex are examples of independent bookstores. Now there are only a few book distributors or wholesalers, such as Bukukita and Gramedia Merchandising in Jakarta and Solusi Distribusi in Yogyakarta. There are also several direct selling companies, such as Nissan dan Semesta, in Gramedia Direct Selling. Books are also distributed via book counters in supermarkets and careful supermarkets group with their 87 outlets have the biggest numbers of book counters, followed by Giant Group, Notomat Group, Ramayana Group, and Matahari Group. There are two kinds of online retailers on the Indonesian book industry. First are online bookstores and second are online stores that sell anything including books. Both kinds of online retailers are growing and expanding rapidly with the efficient support of the nationwide shipping carriers, namely GNA, Tiki, and Post Indonesia. And due to the fact that online business businesses are more economical and practical to manage, especially when there are huge number of potential buyers connected by the internet. The former two are private companies, GNA and Tiki, I mean, but the latter is owned by the, the Indonesian Postal Service. Notice online businesses in Indonesia are growing fast, reaching 2.7 billion US dollars in transaction. You see on the right, big names in Indonesian online stores are Taskus, Lazada, Blibli, Tokopedia, and Tukalapa. And on the left, uh, online bookstores, there are also two types, ones that are owned by publishers and ones that are independent from any publishers. On the left are samples of the online bookstores, Buka Buku, Kutu Kutu Buku, Bukupedia, Buku Kita, 
ผู้กุยมัดทีนี้ผู้กุโซเดยุสผู้กุมินิงบุกอัลโชคยูสตอร์ทีฟีแอนด์คลามิเดียออนไลน์แอนด์มิซันสตอร์อิมพอร์เต็ดบุ๊กส์มุสลิมอังกฤษอาเฟลเปอร์อินโดนีเซียในเมเจอร์ซิตี้และทาวน์ส์มีสองบิ๊กนามส์ในอิมพอร์เต็ดบุ๊กดิสติบิวเตอร์สต์เพิ่มคือยูนิบุ๊กส์อินโดนีเซียเดมุสลิมอินพอร์ตบุ๊กส์จากนอร์ทอเมริกายุโรปและประเทศกิงดัมและสองคือชินาร์สตาร์บุ๊กส์เดอะเพรมิเรลีอินพอร์ตบุ๊กส์จากประเทศยุโรปและประเทศ United Kingdom, Europe, and Japan. There are four English chain bookstores. First, Perry Plus with 45 retail outlets in Java, Bali, Lombok, Kalimantan, and Sumatra. Mostly located at airports and shopping malls. Second, Kinokuniya, which also provides Japanese books. With four stores at much more in Jakarta. Third, Books and Beyond, formerly Times Bookstore, with 36 stores in Java, Bali, Sulawesi, Kalimantan, and Sumatra. Fourth, Aksara, with four stores in Jakarta. The set list for English chain bookstores, Toko Buku Gramedia chain bookstore also provide imported books counters. In their 33 stores throughout Indonesia, when the English online bookstore is open to all the bookstore Indonesia. From the data, based on the requirements of ESPNs to Indonesia Library when the publishers, I obtained data of annual new titles and active book publishers. You can see that the active book publishers are from Java, and the greater part of it is from Jakarta. And then followed by Sumatra, Sulawesi, Bali, and then the Maluku, Papua, Sa Tenggara, very few. When the annual new titles are growing from 2012, 2013, and 2014. I think uh, it's a good uh, rise. From 23,000, 36,000, 44,000. The Association for Indonesian Book Publishers are called ICAPI. In Indonesia, it is Ikatan Bangkit Indonesia or Indonesian Publishers Association. It has around yeah, 1,315 members and 40% uh, general publishers and 60% school book publishers. There are two big groups. The biggest one is Gramedia Group or Compass Gramedia Group. And there are several publishers, Gramedia Pesaka Utama, Alex Media Komputindu, Buanaimu Populer, 
Belas Hindu, penerbit buku Kompas, dan kepustakaan populer Lamedia. They have also a comic publishers called MNC. In the Misan Group, you have Misan Pustaka, Nora Books, and Bentang. And uh, on the right, uh, they are independent publishers. Erlangga is also very big. Panebar Swadaya, Panebar Swadaya, Agromedia Pustaka, Nesdakarya, Tiga Selangke, Bumi Aksara, Kesen Blang, Selambil Semesta, Sikrul Hakim Bestari, Kanisius, Pemina, Republika. So, uh, most of the publishers are in Jakarta and in Bandung. Kanisius in in Yogyakarta. Tiga Selangke is in Solo, Central Java. There are more than 200 university places now, and uh, some are active, some are not active. The association is EPPCI, Indonesian University Press Association. You see, uh, IPP Press, this is the most active, Bogor Institute of Agricultural Bogor, UE Press, Jakarta, Kama Press, Yogyakarta. This is the the, the three are uh, owned by the government, the state universities. Well, Penelpit Universitas Ahmad Jaya and Penelpit Universitas Sanara Dharma are private. Penelpit ITP, Air Langga University Press, ITS Press, UP Press, Badan Penelpit Universitas Diponegoro, Unsri Press, Lab has Unlam test and Unjan test. All of them, all of them are state universities. Now there are only three literary agencies in Indonesia. I think it's very few. Most Indonesian publishers deal with overseas publishers or literary agents directly, and only recently some of them have started using the services of the three literary agencies available. Indonesian authors also submit their manuscript directly to publishers. The first is Maxima Creative Agency, established since 2004, representing quite a number of publishers from North America, UK, and Europe. Second is Tatamori Agency, Indonesia. Since 2010, it is also a branch of Tatamori Thailand, representing around 20 foreign publishers. And the third is Pelabudul Agency, Ikapi. So it is owned by IKP, and I manage this agency. It's established since 2013, representing, representing and facilitating Indonesian publishers and authors to market their copyrights overseas. Books. Nowadays, large publishers and university presses publish ebooks 
along with the print books. And some sell the e-books via their e-book stores, such as Lamidiana for Compass Lamidia Publishers e-books. Uh, they have around 9,000 titles and will add with 3,000 new titles soon. Lumos, now Misan Store for Misan Pustaka Publishers e-books. They have about 1,060 titles. And Elosda for Pustakalia Publishers e-books. They have 200 titles. So, Kramidiana is in Jakarta, while Misan Store and Nosta are in Bandung. The Indonesian Ministry of Education and Culture provides free school e-books for primary and secondary education. That is the number 1,331 textbooks. And the estimated number of e-books published in Indonesia is less than 2% of print books. And yet, the number keeps on increasing now. Most users prefer tab tablets and smartphones in Android, iOS, iOS or Windows platforms to read ebooks to e-reader devices like Kindle and Nook. Scoop is a popular e-reader app in Indonesia, meaning they provide e-reader apps on the Indonesian users. Now I'll go to pricing system, average spin run, Bestseller criteria and reference. Pricing system. Cover price of ebooks is generally 75% of print books. Discount for bookstores and distributors ranging from 45% to 55%, and mostly returnable. Where discount for ebook stores is 50%. Tax is 10% times cover price minus discount on any hand song list except school books, textbooks, and religious books. Relative for translated print books, is ranging from 6 to 8% of cover price, while for translated ebooks, 25% of net receipts. The average print run is 3,000 cop copies and up to 5,000 copies for children's picture books. Of course, for small publishers, they, us they usually start with 1,000 or 2,000 copies. For bestseller criteria, 6,000 up to 10,000 copies sold in one year. So for 10,000 copies are mostly for children's picture books. And bestseller list reference for translation for Indonesian publishers are the New York Times, Publishers Weekly, and Amazon.com. This is about segments, the ton, top 10 songs, the sources from Tokopuku Gramidia, and the nationwide chain bookstore. You see that uh, certain books, both in, the, in 2013 and 2014, are in the top rank, number one. Then the, in 2013, the number second is religion and spirituality, where in 
2014 number two is school books. You see that uh, fiction and literature is also popular. And then number five, reference and dictionary. Number six, business and economics. Number seven, motivation and self-help. Number eight, social sciences in 2013 and psychology in 2014. An example of psychology is uh, emotional intelligence. Book books. Number nine in 2013 and biosocial science, sciences, number nine in 2014. And then number 10, computing and internet in 1913, well, cookbooks in 1914. Then for best-selling translated novels, you have four single titles. You have Inferno, Inferno, and the Da Vinci Code, put by Dan Brown, Game of Thrones. Pages R. R. Martin, Adultery and the Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, and The Cuckoo's Calling by G.K. Rowling. And Life of Pi is used to be a bestseller by Jan Martel, a Canadian. And for series and authors, Harlequin Roman series. They had looking enterprises in Canada. Sherlock Holmes series, Agatha Christie, Dan Brown, Stephen King. So for Dan Brown, uh, there are several titles. Stephen King, of course, yes. So Pacolic series, especially for women. And the author, Sophie Kinsella. Also Paulo Coelho, James Patterson, and uh, the Japanese author Haru, Haruki Murakami. Best selling translated children's and young adult books. Single titles Frozen, Starry Book by Disney, Toy Story, Disney and Pixar. And the fourth in our stars, John Green, Pepper Towns, John Green, and Toto Chan, it's Japanese title by Tetsuko Kuroyanagi. And for series and authors, of course, Harry Potter series, the Division series, it's very Veronica Roth, yeah. Disney Comics and Picture Books, John Green, The Twilight Saga, Stephanie Meyer, The Hunger Games Trilogy, Sandy Collins, Naruto series, that is uh, manga, Detective Conan series manga, and The Adventures of Tintin series. Best-selling translated non-fiction. Single titles, and that's The Hero, The Secret, put by Runda Birna, Like This Journal by Carrie Smith, Canadian, The Everything Store, yeah, and that is Redstone, that's about 
Jeff Bezos and the Amazon, I think you know. Why is students work for C students? Kiyosaki, go to great Jim Collins, marketing management Kotler, the miracle of enzyme, Hello Missinya, Disney English Dictionary, sorry, Disney English Indonesian Dictionary, yes. some Disney. Originally, if I'm not mistaken, Disney English Korean Dictionary. And then I'm uh, uh, adapted into English Indonesian Dictionary. It used to be a bestseller, Visual Dictionary Indonesian English, published by QA International Canada, and for series and authors, Chicken Soup on the Soul series, from Montreal Context, Canada, Let's Dead and Poor Dead series, and the author, Rupert T. Kiyosaki, Runda Birna, John Maxwell, Philip Kotler, Chris Anderson, Bling, yeah. Dale Kennedy, and Karen Armstrong. Karen Armstrong is, uh, I think, um, the famous books, uh, The History of God and The History of Islam, Bessels in Indonesia. No, but licensing and rights negotiation. Most large Indonesian publishing companies, they do trade books and mass market paper bags, still count on translation, especially word bestsellers, around 40% to 60% of their titles. Of course, they will do uh, hard pounds or hard cover, especially when a title is booming and it's a bestseller and then they will produce the the, uh, the hardcover edition as a kind of gift books. Foreign publishers can do both ways, dealing with Indonesian publishers directly and through the three literary agencies. Of course, for the Buddha agency, usually uh, facilitating the Indonesian publishers and authors. But uh, the two others are facilitating foreign publishers. And translators of French Indonesian are limited and with higher fees. The following terms are open to negotiate between both parties. Initial print runs vary depending on genre, children's book and novels usually around 3,000 up to 5,000 copies, non-fiction 1,000 up to 4,000 copies, and the popularity of titles also matters. Initial print runs and reprints are generally in paperback. Reality rates about six up to eight percent for print books, based on cover price, and twenty five percent for ebooks calculated on net receipts. Advanced reality payment around 20% to 30% of estimated royalty payment on the initial print run. Courtesy copies for publicity and promotion purposes, 150 copies up to 300 copies. Period of agreement, five years. Exporting. 
Of course, exporting clean books to Indonesia is promising because there are two active book importers. And the growing bookstores, sorry, in the growing English bookstores and English book counters, as well as online retailers, and also the rising middle class and often consumers. Printing books in Asia, in Asian countries, have a shipping advantage, and Indonesia has a number of reputable printing houses, such as Kapasari. Indonesia Printer and Percetakan Gramedia. Percetakan means printing house. Also, the possibility of making use of the Indonesian print on demand facilities for paper bags is also an option to cut shipping costs. Co-publishing. The uncommon co-publishing schemes could be attractive to the Indonesian publishers if the contents of the work have pros prospective selling points on the Indonesian market. Of course, not necessarily in the world bestseller. Supported with well-prepared marketing plans and funded with reasonable sales accepted by both parties. Production costs and revenue sharing are preferable, while profit sharing is more complicated to carry on. And both parties are prepared for mutual trust and long-lasting cooperation. When there are a number of talented comic artists in Indonesia, either working individually or under art studios with excellent service to produce comics and graphic novels for international market, including Indonesia of course, such as Palawan Studio with various comic artists specialized in Western comics, graphic novels and manga. Their, inter their international clients are Marvel, Mattel, Penguin, Pasfilm, Akaya, Blizzard Entertainment, Little Clown and Company. Sendana Art Media is a comic publisher with comic artists of Academy Samali, which is a comic artist community. They specialize in graphic novels and comics. And Mr. Apriadi Kuspiantoro is a professional comic artist. And his international clients are The Boss, Comics in John Lawson's collection, I think this is in the, the Netherlands. Dark Horse, Dark, Dark Horse Comics in the United States. Yeah. These two are samples from the work of Caravan Studio. One on the left is the cover from Leon Comics, so they have a kind of comics magazine called Leon. This is a monthly, monthly magazine. And one on the right is the keeper is illustrations. And from Tendana Art, uh, I present Enja graphic novels. On the left is the cover, while on the right is samples of two pages of India. In the works of Apriya Dikus Piantoro, on the left is the cover of Balata Yuda comics. Talata Yuda and Epic from India, and on the right is a sample of illustration. <laughs> 